Hi, I'm Troy from Interlock Construction. And I'm Jill from Jillian Dinkle Designs. What attracts you to specialising in Australia's period homes? When I moved here from New York, I think I just fell in love with the you know, classic Victorian architecture of Australia. And I have a real love of all period and heritage detailing. So it's been really uh, a joy for me to specialize in that and really focus on restoring these homes and also adapting them for contemporary living. How would you best describe your style? That's really hard for me to do, but I feel like I have a very uh, specific style and people can identify my work. It's usually really high contrast. I have a real love for marble and natural stones. Um, and I try to go for really timeless effects while including a lot of drama as well. With heritage properties, we're mostly dealing with smaller spaces. How do you overcome that problem? I am the queen of small spaces. <laughs> I think um, nearly a decade in New York really influenced the way I live my life and, um, and the way I look at small spaces. You know, there's always an opportunity for extra storage. Um, by really customizing and creating bespoke joinery pieces for my clients, uh, as well as furniture. I really make sure that we maximize every millimeter of a property. So it's just a lot of creative thinking, as well as my ex personal experiences that influences how I approach that very common issue in period homes. Troy, how do you think that you approach small spaces from an architectural perspective? Working with the existing smaller spaces, depending on the brief requirements from the clients, there's always an opportunity to work with the existing space and also look to extend it um, consistent with the period home. What's your process with design? So when a client comes to me with a project that they want to work with me on, I always start with an initial design consultation. So I go to them, we spend some time in the home, and we really take our time talking about what's working, what's not working, what the ultimate goal is, and then uh, I always tell them, I'll design the dream, and then we can work back from there. Um, from there, we go on to the concept phase. I'm a very visual person, and um, I think it's just a really great way to express um, where you're going with a project through imagery. Um, we have that presentation, I take some feedback, and then we get really deep into design development, um, creating some beautiful 3D renders so the client gets a really great image of exactly what's going to happen with their home. What would you say is currently trending in design? You know, I really avoid the word trending at all possible. I'm all about classics and um, things that are going to really age well over time. I really like using a lot of natural materials for that reason. You know, I think that marble is one of the most timeless materials. I love working with um, metal finishes that are unlacquered, so they'll patina over time. You know, I don't want my clients to, to feel like they need to be too precious in their homes. And I think when you work with really beautiful materials, they age with you and they become part of your story. And I think there's nothing nicer than that. I love when clients bring visuals to that initial design consultation. Um, even images of things they don't like, I think imagery speaks so much louder than words. What I think is dramatic and what my client thinks is dramatic may be two totally different things, but when they show me an image of what they like and what they don't like, it's very clear to me about the direction they want to go in, and that makes the whole process easier because we're on the same page from the very start. Yeah, I agree, Jill. I think it, it makes our life much easier as designer, understanding what clients want, because um, not all clients have the ability to sketch or, or articulate their ideas on paper. I think that's why the power of, of having imagery um, to identify what they do like, but also what they don't like yeah. is quite a good tool. Yeah, that's right. Thanks for joining me for a chat today, Jill. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching everyone. Follow Interlock Construction and Jillian Dinkle Designs for more content like this.